Hello, so let's play Dungeon Siege 1. Now, I know a lot of people are wondering how can you make this game work? Well, it simply works. You just have to run it in compatibility mode for Windows XP, service package 3, that's what I'm using. You can do that very easy on Steam, just right click properties and right click on the execu execution or the executable. And that's it. Then after that, you need to click again on properties on Steam and then you'll have the properties and the startup options. You just have to enter a code phrase that will start the game on 1920. See? Otherwise, this is not available to you. You can only play in 10, 24, or 32 with the compatibility for Windows XP. Now, the game still has a few problems here and there, and I don't think it will be fully playable, but we'll see. It just looks like a good indie game, and just. This game is 20 years old. If you can believe that. 20 years old and it still looks pretty pretty cool. Uh, don't worry, we'll go to the main menu. The main menu is still in the older resolution. So you can see the start. <laughs> yeah, they had some fun hairstyles. Well, we can get a beard. These are some ha anime haircuts. <laughs> also, hairstyle is beard and other stuff. Okay, that's okay. I guess we prefer a longer short. <laughs> Those pants will st will get in trouble. Not sure what material this is supposed to be, but it's okay. Anyway, the point is that you can play a game from 20 years ago in perfect resolution, in perfect FPS. It just a little warning. Don't worry about it. A long time ago, on the continent of Orana, the once magnificent empire of stars had crumbled into oblivion. Paralyzed by its own power-hungry legions, and torn asunder by an ancient and merciless evil. Evil. But the Tenth Legion, the dying empire's most valiant soldiers and most trusted, withdrew far to the west, to a land called Ebb, seeking to preserve what their empire had lost. Here, in the rugged mountains and the rich valleys of their new home, they founded the Kingdom of Ebb, a kingdom that has embraced peace and freedom for 300 years. That's amazing. But there was a price. Dog. Few now remember the evil that opposed them. Evil, I like how he says that, sorry. Fewer still recall the dark sorceries cast to save them. And none could foretell that one humble farmer would stand between a vengeance from the past and the survival of the kingdom. Seems like if you have a house over here, it will be very noisy. <laughs> he runs in real time. The Krog are attacking. I couldn't hold them back. <laughs> you have long been my friend, but you can do nothing more for Old Nord. Go to Stonebridge. Find Giorn. If the Krog have elsewhere betrayed us. Bravery will be needed by the king. Go now. Yes, let me let me die in peace. Go now. I guess we didn't have time to tell him who we are not going, and instead we're just going to do something else for the entire day. Those are basically goblins. So yeah, the full game is playable, interactable. And to be honest, it's amazing because look at the inventory design. Great! Everything I want in a game today and I only found in Dungeon Siege or other types of games. 
Also, we have over here a journal. We can even enter our little house. I hope that's not our wife. Anyway, you can also get some items. So again, this is how a game is supposed to be made. You're supposed to go over the bridge and fight something, right? But you also have the option of just going over here where it's peaceful. <laughs> and just say, ah, I don't care. I'll just eat a barbecue chicken with some fruit and sleep for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. Look at the shadows. You can also turn that off as you can see the game has those options for you. A map. What's the hotkey for the map? This is amazing. Look look at the insane map quality that they had 20 years ago. The view. And all this game needed was just a little better you know, resolution. As you can see, this has a 10% uh, chance to block melee attacks. Now, sadly, the game is not very active per se, because you cannot really do anything but auto-attack. So you'll have to recruit more people and you'll deal also auto-attack. So it's kind of like a party-based RPG, party builder type of game. It's not a pure RPG with skills and stuff like that. You just raise the skills of the things you use more. Oh, I, I love this attack, I remember it. Come on, hit it. And they are fighting with you with the chair legs. Rescue to double. Ah, oh, come on! Look at look at how beautiful this is. And the arrows will stick into the enemy. So the way you increase your skills is if you continue to use an item. So using an item will increase your skills. So you'll become an archer if you use bows or other ranged weapons. You'll become a mage if you use those types of things. Uh, usually they can drop a better weapon, so the loot is also variable. You can get a weapon that does 2 to 4 damage, a club of some kind. So again, everything works great. I think I should make him an archer. I think he said he had enough of this. Brilliant, isn't it? <sighs> Active spell. I'm not sure of all the all of the commands, but yeah, like I keep saying, this is a great game and all it needed is just a few commands, and that's why I think Steam is always better than. Epic Game Store because Steam gives us the option to basically play this game in the resolution we want. Again, the game might crash and I'll have to end the video, but overall I think it's good. Crash is yellow. Oh, I guess we can press that if we drink. Yeah, and it also has an active pause button, so it's not a turn-based game, but it has an active pause button. The character moves on the minimap. And that's how you change it. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I liked making making him a ranged character just because of how the other characters are made up. Oh, I even remember those guys. Yeah, the game is quite linear, but at the same time. 
you can play it a couple of times and maybe I'll play Dungeon Siege 1, 2. Dungeon Siege 3 I think is kind of bad, I don't know if I'll play it. Also we're playing on the hard difficulty. Uh, believe me, the difference between difficulties is huge. On easy difficulty you never die, on normal difficulty you will sometimes die, on hard difficulty you will die. If you're not careful. <laughs> that arrow, we missed him and that arrow got that other guy. Okay. I forgot where I have to look for my skills. Oh, probably the game will tell me. Just look at the immersion, perfect atmosphere, the sound, the enemies. You start off as a peasant, it's a great war that is coming. You fight basically goblins, you find improvised weapons more or less. You don't even have a sword. Those things are dangerous. Oh, armor. I guess he had a very big pocket. Defense plus three, defense zero, and I think... Yeah, that's a great spell as well. And later on we'll find characters that are very specialized characters. Like for example, a melee specialist. A range specialist, magic user, combat magic user. Oh, I guess those are kind of like rabbits, except they're ugly. <laughs> oh, don't just rush into it. I think it's easier to use the ranged weapons just because you don't find anyone with ranged capabilities early in the game. Yes, infinite arrows if you are thinking of about that. Can you imagine playing this in 2002? That would have been amazing. Being able to have a computer that could run the game, having enough money to buy the game, having enough time to play the game. I think I played it in 2005 or something like that. Or maybe 2007 or I don't know, much later. I read about the game in a PC magazine for games. Have a better bow now, sure bow fire. So as you can see the arrows are not tracking, you saw that they missed one target and they hit the next target. Hmm. Also the bow is kind of like your highest damage weapon. And because we have some armor we are evading some attacks. But you can see that the game is very hard. You cannot simply walk over and you know, kill them. So yeah, just get the bow, use the healing spell. I think we're supposed to cross the bridge, we'll do it. By the way, you can see the what weapon they're using, he's using a dagger. A chuck, what's a chuck? 
Well, I guess it's a hatchet, so we have a much better melee weapon. As you can see, you just get better and better stuff. Frog dog. Wow, I even forgot how varied the game is. So as you can see, you are already getting many types of enemies from the first part. Okay. What is that over there? Oh, I guess this was the right way to go. We can even see the bodies. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. The, the level of details on some of these games is just insane. And it's a solid game, I mean, you do damage, you take damage, you have a quest, you have a storyline, you have an immersion. You're walking in the rain alone. This is a crack scout, has 12 HP. Just perfect, we have... Oh, here's what I remember. See, this is what I'm searching for, this secret over here. Oh, I guess there was nothing in the chest. Character design is not so bad, especially with this resolution. See, I distinctly remember there was a chest somewhere over there and I found it. I think you can kill them if you force attack, but who would want to do that? Ooh, what is that? That's a frag. This is a crook. Oh, yeah. I guess the dog has some defenses, so we're not dealing max damage. Oh, that almost killed us. Sure. Oh, it's a snapper. <laughs> it's so scary. So weak, but so scary. Yeah, we have to kill all of the enemies for experience. I think the game becomes too easy when you get a full party. So one of the reasons I didn't like the game, one of the few reasons, is because you would, you would get a full party and everything would become... Just too easy. Override the safe file. And now we have a little gloves. Oh, the dogs are really dangerous. Well, I should also be playing the game with active paws, but I guess I'll try to not use it if it's possible. You can also skip most encounters if you like. I mean, you don't have to fight everything because the map is big enough to allow you to just, hey, go around. Become solid snake. I'm not sure if the character will auto-attack. I think you have to give them the command. Oh, and don't worry, we'll stop fighting the troops scouts. Those are so strong, I remember them killing me a bunch of times. Oh, okay. And this is what I miss in most modern games. Look at how solid this is. You can die, you get hit, you can hit the enemy. The enemy has variable drop. You can go multiple areas. So, okay. Oh, 
Oh, you can issue a command, okay. Compass. Oh, we have the compass on the upper right, okay. So as you can see, some of them die, some of them just break apart like the mosquitoes. I think this is a cave we can enter. Oh. Yes. I remember this so well. I remember the bear being super strong. I remember everything just because it was good. I think the bear can one shot us. I don't remember why he cannot run. I think it was a design mistake to not make it run to you. Don't fight it in melee, are you crazy? I think we're dealing two points of damage or one per attack. But as you can see, he's not chasing me, he's not hitting me when it's moving away or not, or I am moving away. Everything is so solid, the attack animation, <laughs> look at how many arrows it has in the head. Yeah, that time it really hit me. Very solid attack animation, very solid hit detection. Sure, if it all load, it just drop there. So as you can see, ten defense, which is three times more, and plus five to health, which is great. So exploration is vastly rewarded, and you also get more loot over here, of course. He's been eating horses. It's quiet. It's noisy. I think, yeah. You have to pick up all of the gold, unfortunately, because if you don't, you'll have problems equipping everyone. Yeah, we basically cannot be killed on the first part of the map because we were very resourceful. <laughs> okay, let's slaughter these guys. So look at how simple the UI is. Yeah, the game mechanics are not too complex, but again, the game is very good at what it does. Oh, I guess we auto attack a little bit. I think this house will have a basement, yeah. Oh, they broke the door. That's a nice cinematic effect. I think we can switch this during combat as well. And it keeps firing. Oh yeah, we see the skills over here. I'm not sure what they do. Nature, magic, combat, magic, melee, ranged, armor rating 25. Eh. 
and this will grow as you use, for example, using magic will increase your intelligence, and so on. Very simple UI, but very efficient. I don't know. The game told me I can go upstairs. Magic armor. Okay, so this is how it works. Two to armor, but you need nature magic. Oh, I forgot. I forgot you can click on stuff, okay, I need to remember that for later. So I guess even if you don't get the prompt, you can still click on stuff. I don't know if you can open that or not, probably not. I don't think you can go beyond your current position. I guess you can explore a little more. So many dead people and monsters. Yeah, I forgot about this as well. You can tilt the camera. You can walk through the water. Just amazing how many things you can do in older games that you cannot do in modern games at all. <laughs> the other guy was huge and he had a pitchfork. It's one of the bigger mosquitoes. Huh. Very interesting. I don't feel the need to talk a lot. Probably the next episode I'll talk a lot more. But now I'm enjoying it. As you can see it's very evasive. Look how cool we look in our brand new armor. <laughs> I remember killing so many of the scouts. Okay, I guess we have fully explored that area. The map you can fully explore, you can fully see what happens everywhere. Okay, I'll just assume we explore that area as well. And now we have to basically pass a little, pass a little bottleneck. I think we'll encounter only scouts until we reach the city, which I think it will be only a fort or something. <laughs> this is just amazing. I cannot believe how much fun I'm having and I'm only clicking. You can see them on the minimap as well. Fun! So many quality of life options. Yeah, the, this is a little small, but I guess it's okay. You'll see the health potion flashing if you need it.
As you can see, the enemy waves get tougher and tougher. Well, fortunately, mana regenerates pretty fast in the game. I'm not sure what the auto auto attack button is. We just keep trying. Okay, let's enter the house and then I'll end the door. Maybe I'll play more of it, but not not every week. Maybe I don't know. I will see. Oh, I hate these guys so much. Believe me when I say they are very dangerous. Okay, let's those those. Oh yeah, this is the one with the basement. I should have guessed you'd be cleaving your way to Stonebridge to find out what's got the Krug all stirred up. If you could spare a few minutes to help an old neighbor before you go. When I realized the Krug were actually attacking us, I tried to get to the safety of my cellar. But they had a little welcome party waiting for me. If you need any supplies for the long trek to Stonebridge, and wouldn't mind clearing out the remaining Krug downstairs, you can help yourself to whatever you need from my stalls. Yeah, if you can. So many details. I didn't think they had it in them to raise a hand against us. I guess I was wrong. Oh, you cannot go outside because the door was locked. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what's this, this is the current skill progression. So, this is almost leveled up. No loading screen. Very good transition. Sound is gone. Charged fist, that would be fun to use. <laughs> I distinctly remember the bone club. This man has a huge cellar, he could feed an entire army if he had food everywhere. Oh, I forgot there is a second level. And that's kind of a mini boss. Can also pause, click. But I like to play it in real time. Yeah, that's a bit like cheating, but okay. I think sometimes you can drop something better. We have a cap. 
3 to 5, nie? We're also getting quite a lot of gold 200. I think that will be enough for some better weapons and armors. For myself. Oh yeah, I think we can also do this. Spike Club is pretty good, I, if I remember correctly. Two later, it's six, but this is so good. <laughs> oh, yeah, Leech Life. So I think that's the beginning to the combat magic. It's level 2, but free to free. <sighs> Such an intuitive system, isn't it? So easy to see. Look at how many things were here. Oh. <laughs> the exploration is so good. Uh, come back. I think he, mm, I don't want to see if it damages us or not. So many good memories here. The, the I guess this man had a secret art or something. And you will actually have a voice line for you after you defeat those guys. So that was a lot of good gear we got. Again, no... No level transition whatsoever. Maybe later. My thanks for clearing out the Krog. If they're coming... My thanks for clearing out the Krog. If they're coming after farmers in our own homes, I don't doubt you'll battle many more on your journey to Stonebridge. You'd best be on your way. Watch out for yourself, and don't worry about me. I have enough supplies in the cellar to keep me going until this blows over. See, you can also read the, you can read the text before the dialogue comes out. Chair leg, you can sit on the minimap. The game is so awesome. I guess we can play a little more. Let me just see in what direction I need to go. Before I end the video, because otherwise I'll be very lost. Eh, it's almost 40 minutes, ah, why not? This is more fun than I imagined. Hmm, we're still fighting scouts. I think we'll get bigger enemies later. I think yeah, we have auto attack. Oh. And look at these guys, they're just programmed to come running at us. But we're so ahead of the difficulty curve. And that's because I knew what to do, because I played before 15 years ago. <laughs> oh, that's an apprentice, he has magic. Death and destruction. Okay. 
if someone comes over here and, and sees what's left, they'll think, hey, this guy was a Fletcher, he had 500 arrows. Or no, there was an army of archers. <laughs> If you're wondering how fast is melee, more or less the same. Kill die shot in the back. Like a coward. So yeah, everything is perfect in the game because they really loved making games back in the days. Oh, this is another cave. I think we are more accurate with our shots now. Yeah, and again, another type of enemy. Or a named enemy. Ooh. This guy is tougher than the other one. Or I guess they just hit me a lot of times. Yeah, I guess he has a lot of defenses as well. He's almost as tough as the bear. Like, yeah, less HP. Better not risk it. <laughs> I guess I can throw away something. Bow. So this is 9 to 15, 10 meters, 10 meters, huge upgrade. So it's in the cave, I guess there must be something else, right? I can almost push at them. A hammer? Very simple upgrade system, more damage, looks cooler. Also, the bow is much bigger than what I had before. Remember, we can use the minimap. Okay, if I, if I keep playing, I'll play one hour more. This looks like a nice place to stop. See you next time. Bye.